Greetings, Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This Bible study is called, For God so loved that he destroyed the world in a flood. Huh. How's that work, Chaplain Bob? Well, let's go to Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repented me that I had made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Skip to verse 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. The flood of Noah, in a way, is kind of a shadow of water baptism, which is in a sense the washing away of sin of the flesh, at least in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus said he would give us a baptism of, well, fire and the Holy Ghost, right? Let's take a look at that. Well, actually, it was John the Baptist. Matthew 3.11 I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. So, all right, let's go to Genesis 7 and verse 19. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast, and of every creeping thing, thing that creepeth upon the earth and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life of all that was in the dry land died, and every living substance, and every living substance was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle and the creeping things, and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. So God so loved the world that he destroyed the world in a flood. And then guess what? For God so loved the world that he rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. All right. So, for God so loved the world, let's go to Genesis 19. Perhaps you know the story. Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot and his family. Verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. So here it is, two angels are come to Sodom, and uh, Lot greets them, right? And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night. And wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, 
Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did break, uh, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, and all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. Yeah, we want to know them. Uh, as, yeah, they want to know them. Uh, they don't want to talk to them either. No, they got another way they want to know them. They want to know them with no clothes on. Verse 6, And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Boy, God forbid we give our virgin daughters to a bunch of sodomites. I say we give them uh, Mr. Mossberg 12 gauge with buckshot. That's what we ought to give them when they come banging on our door demanding to uh, rape, anally rape our guests. I don't know. Verse 9, And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn, and he will needs be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men, the angels, put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. Physical blindness, but they were also spiritually blind both small and great, so that they weird themselves to find the door. And the men, the angels, said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city? Bring them out of this place. For God so loved the world that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, verse 13, For we will destroy this place. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord went, sent, hath sent us to destroy it. Yeah, that's how much God loves this wickedness, right? And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. Sons yeah, he seems like he's crazy. Man, your father has really lost it. You know, your father a lot. Yeah, he's really lost it. Talking all this crazy stuff. Sounds like a conspiracy theorist. One of those Bible religious nuts. Verse 15. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hands and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. They had to drag him out, kicking and stream, screaming, I guess. Verse 17, And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Escape for thy life. That's going to be happening to Christians not too long from now, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, not thus saith Bob Walker, not thus saith the Lord. But So look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, no, 
O oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. O oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, you know, get moving. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou be come thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen, the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord. Wow. Fire and brimstone. What is brimstone? Do you know what brimstone is? It's burning sulfur. Do you know they have that stuff in uh, volcanoes all the time? Burning sulfur. That's what they likened unto hell. Burning sulfur. Brimstone. Matter of fact, if you look up brimstone in an old, old dictionary, it'll even say sulfur sometimes, depending upon the dictionary. Webster's 1828. Sulfur, a noun, a hard, brittle, um, Inflammable substance of a lemon yellow color, which has no smell unless heated. Uh, it is found in great quantities and sometimes pure in the neighborhood of volcanoes. Oh, yeah. God rained down fire and brimstone upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah. Verse 25. And he overthrew those cities. And all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. And Abraham got up, got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked upon and he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain. And behold, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. And Lot went out to Zoar and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zoar. And he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Let's go to Second Peter chapter 2 real quick. Verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Ooh. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Pernicious means something secret, secret evil. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, 
but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an, an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. For God so loved the world that he did a flood and then he burned up some evil cities. This is Chaplain Bob Walker. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.